Hello, welcome to this PowerPoint 2013 video tutorial using the SlideMaster. My name is Tanya. In this tutorial we will be using the SlideMaster for consistency, background graphics and background colour. Let's move into PowerPoint. As you can see here I'm in normal view. A tip for moving between normal view and slide master view is to hold your shift key down when selecting the normal view icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Without the shift key you will return back to normal view. To ensure the consistency of the fonts on each slide you need to be on the top level slide master. Control and A will select all the placeholders and then in the background group on the slide master ribbon choose your font from the fonts drop down. I'm going to select Calibri. As you can see as I move through the different layouts and select the placeholder and look at the fonts you can see that every single placeholder in each of the layouts has changed to Calibri. The next thing I would like to do is change the slide size. I can do this in the sizes group on the slide master ribbon. I'm going to go for a standard size. I am now ready to insert my background graphic Using the insert ribbon and the picture tool, I will insert a picture from file. As the optimum banner goes into the middle of the slide, I will use the align button on the format ribbon to ensure that it sits right at the top of the slide. Perfect. It goes on every single layout. Now there are a couple of layouts where I would like to remove it. Select the layout and use the hide background graphic tick box in the background group on the slide master ribbon. Removing the background graphic on certain layouts gives you a little bit more flexibility. I've noticed that some of the title text boxes have been hidden by the optimum banner. I will need to resize these. It's a good idea to check on each layout that your text boxes are not being hidden by any background graphic. I would also recommend deleting any layouts in the slide master that you are unlikely to use. You can do this by simply right clicking on a layout and choosing delete layout. I am now ready to modify my background. I'm going to choose a fun theme background from the built in office themes. The only problem with this theme is it's not quite the colours I'm looking for so I'm going to modify them so they are more in line with our optimum styles. Choose background styles and format background. This will open up a task pane on the right hand side. Select the first gradient stop and then choose the fill colour option. I'm going to choose more colours so I can be very specific about the colours I want. Plug in your RGB colour scale and then click OK. That will change the first gradient stop. Select the second gradient stop and do exactly the same. If you are unsure of the colours you need you could always use the new eyedropper tool in 2013. I am now ready to move back into normal view to put some content to my presentation. All my new modified layouts can be found under the new slide button on the home ribbon. Thanks for listening to Using the Slide Master. If you need any further training, why not give us a call?